time it, it's being enforced. And that's why there's some backlash. And I get it. I get it. You know, I don't agree with it either, but it's not my job. It's not our job to like or agree with the policies. That's an exclusive secret recording. An Albuquerque Fire Department deputy chief goes on to tell firefighters not to let the public or city council know some engines are short staffed. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese first broke this story. Today she confronted that deputy chief. She joins us with more on what Victor Padilla had to say. Shelly, the fire department says one less firefighter on the engine came from not being able to pay overtime when people call in sick. But some firefighters had a real problem with how they were told and how they were advised to keep the issue a secret. I was a little concerned because uh, it's getting out to the media or out to the public. A secret recording obtained by Action 7 News reveals what a deputy chief told some firefighters, letting them know they had to respond to calls with one less person, a decision many firefighters felt put lives at risk. We cannot go to city council and say, we need more funding. First thing they do is, what's your sick leave budget? Almost $2 million over budget. Yeah, you want more money? Yeah, you. That voice, Albuquerque Fire Department Deputy Chief Victor Pandilla. He told firefighters the city could cut dozens of jobs if short-staffed engines went public. That's a huge possibility if this gets out. That's why we need to address this, you know, internally as much as possible, work out these kinks, and figure out a way to, you know, to keep this from getting out there. The fire department would not allow Padilla to do a one-on-one -on -one interview. So Action 7 News confronted Padilla with the recordings during a press conference filled with union officials and AFD top brass and played the recording. Deputy Chief Padilla, I have the recording of when you told the guys talking about not releasing this to the media. To the media or not to the public. And the fellow was like, oh, you know, Adam's doing something wrong. We don't want to know that. That's not it. Okay, if this gets out and they start looking at the fact and we start saying, well, look at our manpower problem. The fire chief says the order to go to three man engines at some stations came directly from him. But in the recording, Padilla repeatedly told firefighters he didn't like it. You mentioned that you don't agree with it. Um, was this a hard conversation for you to have Absolutely. with firefighters? Absolutely. Because I strongly disagree with having to enforce this policy and strongly dislike having to enforce this policy. Padilla says the short staff engines was reactionary to people calling in sick. He says he told firefighters not to say anything about the change because he wanted to give the union and the department time to address the issue first. Today, the union and top brass at AFD met to lay out policies. The union says it doesn't want short staff and short staff engines rather to ever happen again. Back to you. Coming up at 10, we get the chief's reaction. Plus, the city council president explains why he does not agree with what was said in the recording. Less than two years.